Fuck off later than I thought. Ling and I have been in Dunedin for the past three weeks staying with my cousin. She was so gracious to let us stay with her family and she's been hosting us for the past three weeks. But now it's time to go on an adventure. An adventure, an adventure. And with 22 or so remaining hours to use on our intercity cards to go around New Zealand, um, <laughs> we have to use these hours because they expire at the end of next month, the end of November. So we decided to ditch the car and go back to our old school roots of backpacking, literally. And when I say backpacking, I don't mean having a backpack, sticking it in the back of the car and then driving all over the place. Actually, backpacking. For the next five days, we're gonna rely on nothing but intercity to get us to our destination, Teanau. But our end destination is gonna be the Doubtful Sounds. It actually makes me very uncomfortable after getting so used to having a vehicle to ditch it and start taking the bus. Part of that stress is that feeling of knowing that you have to be at a specific time to catch a bus and if you miss it, you miss the bus and you gotta figure something out. Versus having a car, you can kind of just hop in your vehicle anytime you want and you have that freedom without the added stress of having to be somewhere to catch a bus. And our end destination today is gonna be Teanau, but we still have to figure out how to get to Manapuri. That's where the cruise to Doubtful Sound is gonna leave. That's where we need to start getting friendly to other backpackers in the hostel because then they might be like, oh, you need a ride? I can give it to you. We don't know how we're gonna get there, but we're gonna figure that second half of our, our trip out and how we're gonna get to Manapuri. Bus comes in about 10 minutes. I just gotta take a leak. Where's the water? Water. Sprayed soap, but no water. Okay. Gotta go. Door is on the So YHA is just down there. Okay, thank right. you so much. Thank you. We should have said Namihi. Here we are, Tianau, gateway to the Fjordland National Park and the Milford Sounds. We're not going to Milford though. We're gonna go south to Doubtful. Doubtful Sounds. First, we need to check into our accommodations, which Ling prepared for us she's the itinerary itinerary planner here so I she booked book us in for you. I know that's not true we're here at the uh, youth hostel the YHI you got the key code it's about 740 so check-in is over but they uh, left us the key so we could get into our rooms Alright, 
home for the night. House is nice. Saw the bed, clean towels. There's a barbecue clean. outside. I think that's a heater. Heater. Oh, now it's on. Towels. So that was a rather tiring, a tiring five-hour trip Ooh, from Dunedin. Like a sheep. <laughs> um, remember in Dunedin when I was saying that it's a slightly more stressful travel experience when you don't have a car because you have to be at a certain place at a certain time to catch your bus. We had to transfer buses in Gore and the bus from Dunedin to Gore was running a bit late but luckily the bus driver didn't drive off without us. He waited for us, took us on and uh, as you saw in the video he was so nice to even drop us off right in front of the YHA youth hostel. Yeah, he was really cool, really cool uh, Maori fella. So it's about 7, 10 to 8 right now. We're hungry, we haven't had supper yet, so we're gonna go cook some food and uh, figure out how we're gonna get to Manapuri tomorrow. It's 20 kilometers south of here. And Manapuri is where the, um, the excursion for the Doubtful Sounds overnight cruise leaves. Hopefully, we can meet someone, maybe some other backpackers that might be driving down. We will bribe them with these chocolates. Otherwise, we'll have to figure something out. And so I'm gonna go eat. We got some beef stew. Let's go eat some. Heat it up. Mm -hmm.